Now, an Apple Watch has helped save a Victorian man's life. Jason Potts was cleaning the gutters when he toppled almost two metres off a ladder. Seriously injured and bleeding from his head, his watch called emergency services and sent a text message to his wife. The 54-year-old grandfather was unaware he'd even switched on the life-saving technology. Jason Potts was found lying on the concrete with broken bones and a deep gash to his head. Moments earlier, he'd been spring cleaning his gutters. Climbed the ladder, pulled the trigger, and it immediately pushed me away from the house. So I reached out and grabbed a hold of the timber, and it broke in my hand. It just crumbled. The 54-year-old was flung over the fence. His Apple Watch detected he'd taken a hard fall and alerted triple zero. A voice came from my watch saying, Hello, is there anyone there? Can you hear me? Your Apple Watch has detected a hard fall and called Triple O. Do you require an ambulance? The watch also sent a text to his wife, who is listed as his emergency contact. So I received four messages saying that Jay had had a hard fall and um, this was his last location. The grandfather is now calling his watch a lifesaver. Jason Potts joins us now. Mate, first up, how are you doing? That's a nasty fall. Uh, G'day, Koshi and Sam. Yeah, uh, it was a nasty fall, really. Uh, quite shocking at the time. Uh, I was in hospital for five days, and oh. uh, every day I'm getting a little bit better. We get a little bit more movement, and the pain reduces a little bit more. But yeah, getting 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 well. Right. So, Thought did you <laughs> even know that the watch could do all of this? Well, I set it up about um, uh, there was a, there was just one button to flick, and I did it about 18 months ago, and. You sort of forget that that's a feature that's there, you know, because you know, even when I set it up, I thought, ah, oh, like, yeah, so how am I going to test that? And so you put it out of your mind that it's even something that happens. So that was a, made it more of a spin out too when we heard the voice coming from the watch. Um, I had to stop and think, now, how could that be, you know? Um, and it wasn't just like a like a robotic voice. It was actually Triple O. Uh, the, the attendant at Triple O say, asking, you know, do, do you require assistance? Yeah. It was uh, yeah, incredible. God, this is strange experience. This is technology at its absolute best, isn't it? Um, so, yeah. so yeah. what spoke to you? Were you in any condition to sort of talk back or, or press it? Look, I, I sort of, I, I was a little bit, but uh, so what, what happens is when you have the fall, the, the watch detects the fall, yeah. and then it, it'll ask you then, um, are you okay? That's the watch itself. If you don't respond to that res that, that request, then it just goes out to Triple O, makes the call. Okay. So, and that's that we'd got to that stage. How fantastic! Yeah. Wow. And so, this, Jason, yeah. this could be really good for older people, you know, mm -hmm. who are having falls and replace uh, those, you know, things that you press, well, those emergency buttons around your neck, sort of thing. Yeah, that's right, Sam. But even uh, my thoughts are, you know, people who work alone, you know, mm -hmm. farmers and people mm -hmm. who, people who are out there without anyone watching them. Um, the watch will watch. Yeah. Pardon the pun. <laughs> well said. Um, and, and it also uh, alerted your wife as well. Thank goodness. It so did, what, yeah. what, what did she, yeah. she do and, and say? Well, she was already... So the neighbours had come and got her, so she was actually standing there watching the paramedics load me up when she was getting these multiple messages. And the reason why she got multiple messages from the watch was because as the paramedics moved me, the watch was updating her as to my new location because she hadn't responded and said, OK, I, you know, I'm, I'm right with that message, you know. So uh, she actually ended up with four text messages as they, as they moved me along the, out into the ambulance. Mm. So, so she, yeah. she's your emergency contact. You've got to be careful who you put your emergency contact in as. Well, I ended up putting my, my four kids in as well. Yeah. I, I updated my phone yesterday. I thought, I, I, we need more. <laughs> yeah. I, thought, yeah, I can't just... Because, you know, I'm normally with my wife anyway, so I thought, well, actually... I think uh, I'll need to expand the, widen the yeah. circle. Yeah. yeah. Good wow. On you. Well, we're yeah. glad you're okay. You, are, you, are you healing all right? You're feeling all right now? Yeah. Very well. Very well. Yeah. And I've got I've got physio lined up and Good. Uh, more X-rays just to make sure everything's okay. But yeah, feeling really yeah. well. Jason, really look at well. me. Yeah. Don't get up that ladder. I was going to say, <laughs> Jason, <laughs> what do we mate. say? Over fifties and ladders. No, no one told me until after it happened. It was oh. too late. It was, uh, like, you fall off the ladder and then they tell you you're <laughs> yeah. not supposed to be doing it. You're over fifty. You're there. Great, <laughs> great to see you. Still got your sense of humour and you're mending well. Thanks, mate. Good to see you. Thanks, Koshi.
Cheers. Thank you very much for having yeah, me. That was clever. Yeah, that's a good story. Really I like that. All right. Oh, and Mitch's watch is going off. Are you all right? No, we're just testing it. <laughs> He's testing it and it works. There you go.